Charlotte Bellamy, who plays Emmerdale's Laurel, joins me now. Gosh, this has been tough. This has been very, very tough because it's you want them to be happy, mm. but you know it's bittersweet. You know, it's it's so sad. I know, but they they kind of are meant to be together, especially Absolutely. especially now when yep. he's. You know, he's been diagnosed with dementia. You, you kind of feel that the audience is behind you, that, yeah. you, you know, they want them to be happy for what he's got left, you know. Mm. The little time that he has, it's, it's tragic, it really is, but you're right. They are, they are always meant to be together. It's one of those relationships that they should be in. It, they, you know, they went their separate ways for so many different reasons, but your character has had some really tough storylines. I mean, the whole the whole problem with her, her battle against alcoholism, that must be really hard to play, but very, very satisfying to play as well. Yeah, really in, you know, important issue to tackle. And, and of course, it's ongoing because you don't know when Laurel's going to... No, indeed. ..go back on the drink. She's pregnant, she's getting, you know, married which is a really positive happy thing but of course she she's going to be his carer really mm. ultimately so she's going to be caring for a baby and for him so you, you're kind of thinking when's the stress going to get to her exactly when she gets really vulnerable and it all gets, gets far too much for her usually though with with weddings and soaps they, they tend to go awry but i just hope that this one doesn't you know that everything's okay. I know you can't tell, I know you can't tell me because it's going to be out tomorrow night. But we just all hope that it actually goes well because that's what we want. You know, we want we want um, some happiness for them that we can see there. Oh, that was the first one. That remember? was the first one, that which must first have one. been like 11 years ago. Oh, crikey. But do you know what? Didn't you come... Now, I'm trying to remember. When you first bounced onto Emmerdale, were you not a bee? Oh, I can't get rid of this. I can't. They keep showing clips all the time. Oh, never. Oh. We'd never do something like that. We'd never show you as a bee. That would be mean. Oh <laughs> That's 14 years ago. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. Right. And but what has happened to that I character know, in 14 years? Look. You're a very sweet little bee. <laughs> It was really cute. Doing my exercises. I was so nervous. I had to go... go um, my first scene was in the wool pack in front of all the regulars. <gasps> oh, and I was dressed as a bee. Skinny. Can you imagine? I know, I know. And then it is difficult. But the great thing about Emmerdale, and we say this to everybody that comes in, but it's true, you guys are such a good family. You yeah. know, you all look out for each other. There is that real spirit there. Yeah, it's like a family. And... And we all look out for each other, and well, you know, um, you know, and that's 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 great, isn't it? To mm. be part of that. No, very, very much so. And of course, weddings and, and soap. You got married last year, really low key wedding. Did you not want the big da da with the cake and the dress and the in real life? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't. No, I di we just uh, we just did it. We've got three children and. We just wanted to get married, but without all the stress. And without hoopla. Because you're right, that is quite stressful. It can get quite that stressful, is stressful, actually. You know, but, but everything's got to be right, and who sits beside who, and that one doesn't speak to that one. And Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and we had none of that, because nobody came, apart from our kids. <laughs> really? That's actually, maybe that's, the, maybe that's the way forward. <laughs> it is. Just, actually, just go out for a meal. <laughs> Yeah. You get married and then just go out or, or go back to the house and have a takeout or something like that and just do it that way. Yeah, maybe it's a good absolutely. idea. I, don't know. I have no regrets. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, the, the storyline obviously is um, it has to be done properly. Um, I'm sure that you've had to do lots of research, you know, to make sure you get it absolutely right. Mm -hmm. um, and this is something that I mean, I know eventually he will leave. Mm -hmm. Ashley will leave, sadly, but it's going to be a while, isn't it? We're still going to see him in, in Emmerdale for a little while. Both of you. Oh yeah, they're going to they're going to you know take their time with this story, and I think Good. that's really important. And, you know, Emmerdale has a responsibility to tell this story of right. Course, and yeah, and they, that's what they do really well. And mm. They take these big issues and they research them. And we have a fantastic research team. And the writers and producers, you know, everyone wants to get it right and, sure. and tell it well. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be... He's, he's not leaving quite yet. Good, I'm glad. Because I, I really like him and it has been really... It's been tough to watch, but it's been done so, so well. It's like we were talking to Dr Hillary um, about the fact they're doing this, uh, this play and this drama on uh, autism. Yeah. And I think sometimes, especially with a show like Emmerdale, you know, the, the awareness... That's not why you're doing it. I know that, but the awareness is fantastic. It gets people talking about it, which is great. Of you know, course, it's it does. really, really good, really good. Well, look, the wedding is tomorrow night. We cross our fingers; everything goes well. <laughs> oh. So lovely to see you. Thank you for coming in, and, and, and she's she's a joy to watch, even at her worst. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Charlotte. Thank you.